Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I don't know why this is so, zo zo so zoomed in today but anyway. So today's video is going to be a meal ideas, dinners, I dinner ideas for the next three days. So um, I'm going to show you three meals that I've had this week that I really, really enjoy and they're cinema world friendly and they're probably things you haven't had before or if you have, um, then great but if you haven't then these are things you can try so monday was the cajun chicken tray bake um that is gorgeous and i know tray bakes are sim a simple and easy for anyone that's on the run um anyone that's busy i love to have a tray bake on a monday if it's not a tray bake it's a stir fry on the monday because let's face it i need all those veggies on a monday start the week get them going love life tuesday oh Tuesdays is gorgeous, crispy chili beef. This is a pinch and non recipe. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and we've served that with rice. Um, that's around, I believe around four sins, but I will confirm that in the comment section when I get round to uploading this video. And then Wednesday, which is tonight, I'm filming this a bit later. So Wednesday is a parma ham, no, pork wrapped in parma ham with spinach, and garlic stuffing it is beautiful and i cannot wait to make this so i've already got the pork in the fridge you'll see that in the clips in about 10 minutes <laughs> um and i will follow you can follow me along and do the rest later so yeah without further ado i hope you enjoy this video please remember to like comment and subscribe i know that a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed so if you want to see more content, more soon more content, more live content, then please subscribe to my channel. It means the world. And um, yeah, let's get cracking. Enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so this is a Cajun marinade I'm using. Um, it's from Aldi. It's like 20p or something stupid. And there's half a packet left. So I'm just going to throw this all in with the chicken. As you would have just seen from that last clip, I've just taken as much of the fat as I could off. It's really difficult with thighs. Um, so there is some on there, but you've just got to live with it and deal with it really. So I'm just going to put all that seasoning over it. And then I'm going to add some of this peri peri seasoning as well. This is sin free. Um, and I just like lots of that. So cover that. And then just some garlic granules. Um, just to give it a bit of something. I'm just going to grab a spoon and mix that all together. And that can marinate away for the next 20 minutes whilst I crack on with the veg. Um, I am doing roast potatoes today, so I'll show you them when they are ready and to go in the oven. I'm not going to show you cutting up all my uh stuff because there's absolutely no point you know how to cut potatoes and carrots and things so i'll show you it when they're all in the tray ready um before they go in the oven but it's really really simple it's just a one pot dish um sometimes i do cook the potatoes separately it just all depends on how it's looking in the tray and sometimes i like to cook the potatoes separately because i like them to be really really crunchy um so yeah, I'll show you that, but, and if I do need to cook it in a separate tray, but yeah, that's what the chicken's looking like all marinated and that's going to sit there for 20 minutes whilst I get on with the rest and I will show you more when it comes to it. I might be on a time lapse actually whilst I do the rest. I just remembered I had some parsnips in the fridge that needed to be used up. So I'm just gonna, what I do with these is I boil them um, with some salt. So yeah, so now that's got salt in. Um, and I'm just gonna let that boil. Once it's boiled, take it out, um, let it air dry, as in once you've sieved it out, 
the water let it air dry and then i add some um honey over the top i just like one teaspoon of honey because i think it's about one sin um and then i put it in i will put this in a separate dish only because it's got the honey in it i don't want it to mess with the cajun chicken but yeah i might as well use them we had them in our tray bait last week and they were gorgeous so yeah we'll definitely do those and it might look like i've got loads of carrots going on here it's because we should then have enough for jack's lunch tomorrow um so that's that and then once the roasties have boiled i'll leave them on low for eight hours uh, eight hours eight minutes um and then i'll bung them in the tray with some crushed garlic and some fresh rosemary um and let it do its thing i'll throw in the carrots at the same time and the peppers um and the chicken so yeah that's that i'll put you back on a time lapse i have had to put the chicken in a separate dish rather than the uh, with the potatoes and the carrot because I just don't think it would all cook properly so this in a separate dish in about 10 minutes I'll put the peppers in and then 10 minutes for the end so in about 40 minutes I'll add the tomatoes in with the mix um yeah I'll probably throw these on top at the end to make it look decorative <laughs> but yeah that's what they look like okay so this is the potatoes carrots and parsnips and then the chicken and I've also got a little bit of um trixer cooking I'll plate it all up and show you what it's like on the plate Ooh. Mm. yum so I will put the sins on the screen um but it should be around four sins Dinner was really, 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 really yummy. You can tell it's nice because it's had about 10 brillies. Um The chicken was really nice and juicy and the potatoes were perfect and the carrots, everything was perfect about it. I thoroughly enjoyed my dinner. And so, sin-wise, um, get you in a comfortable position. Sin-wise, okay, so the Cajun marinade, there's only half a pack for the whole pack is three and a half sins. So I'm gonna count it as one sin just to be safe so that's for the chicken and then we had honey on the parsnips for a teaspoon it's one sin so that's two sins and then I had around 10 to 15 grams of chorizo I did 30 grams chopped up so I didn't have as much as jack but to be safe I'm gonna put that as two sins so that's four sins and then is there anything else oh the oil for the potatoes I did one tablespoon of rapeseed oil. I don't know the sin, I'll have to put it on the screen now. Um, so we did have a sinned dinner today, but that's because I added on the extras. If I was, if I were to literally do chicken, veg and potatoes, it would have been sin free, but because I decided to add a bit of honey for the parsnips, a bit of chorizo to make it taste a bit more something, and a bit of spice on the chicken, um, I've, I've now found as I've got more into Slim World, I've been doing it for three years, no, two years, um, that my sins are used on my meals, not on my snacks anymore. Whereas previously it would be, oh my God, I need a sin-free breakfast, dinner and lunch, lunch, breakfast, lunch and dinner so I can have a chocolate bar in the evening and be under eight sins. But nowadays, if I use that my whole 15 sins on three meals and maybe a skinny crunch bar in the evening i'm happy with that um so it just shows how things change as you get more into the plan i guess um so yeah so quite a good dinner idea today we normally do it with cod um a cod fillet but i decided to do chicken today because um i get a bit bored of fish i'm not a massive fish lover but we're giving it there's no fish on this week's menu annoyingly but um yeah, if you've got any fish dishes, cod or um, haddock and salmon, I ideally like those three. If you put any down below, it'd be great. Slim and world friendly, if possible. Um, so, yeah, so the next one you'll see on, the next clip you'll see on here will be the crispy chilli beef. Um, I've got the beef out the freezer. I'm excited to do this. I believe it's around two sins per portion, but you'll see more in the next clip. So, see you then. Okay, so I'm making the crispy chili beef, which is on the Pinch of Non website. So for this, you'll need beef. I'm gonna cut this into like small strips. Um, plain, no, self-raising flour, honey, one oxo cube with water. Um, 
I'm using white wine vinegar. You need rice vinegar, but I Googled it and apparently white wine vinegar is fine also. Dark soy sauce, ginger. I'm using this ginger puree, lifesaver. One egg to do the coating of the beef. This red hot wing buffalo sauce. I've never had this before. I'll put the sins on the screen. Um, but yeah, we need a small amount of that. Some garlic, some chili flakes, juice of one lime. Um, some carrots. Now, just only say one carrot, but I'm going to use two because I can't use the onion. So I'm basically using that as a replacement. Um, a red pepper and salt and vinegar. So I'm just going to start by chopping up the beef and coating it, coating it in the flour in the egg. And I'm going to put that in a tray in the oven for around 20 minutes whilst I do the rest. So I'll put you on um, a time lapse. So this is a beef. I'm going to put it in the oven now for 20 minutes. And whilst this is cooking away, I'm just looking at Jack's phone for the recipe. Um, we are going to cook the peppers, carrots, and obviously normally the onions, chili flakes, garlic, and ginger in a wok. And then after five minutes, throw in all the rest of the ingredients, like the lime juice, sh uh, sweetener, soy sauce, right, white vinegar, and honey. Um, and then we would do the beef stock. So Jack's kindly chopped up the veggies for me over there so I can start. I've left some beef because I feel like that's enough and I might use this, I might just cook it up for something else. Um, so yeah, 25 minutes, so I've got you on charge. 25 minutes with that um, and I'll show you once all the, well, I guess once it's, once it's the sauce is cooking really because I don't need to show you cooking the everything else in a pan. So I'll come back to you shortly. the here is what the crispy beef looks like now it's all in the pan oh that's a microwave with the rice um it looks delicious it probably didn't crisp up as well as i wanted it to but the sauce was just getting really thick and i didn't want to start tampering with water and things so um yeah it looks delicious i will show you it when it's all served up i'm gonna have some prawn crackers in mine just because it's a chinese dish why the hell not and this is the finished piece. Not the best pre presentation, but it looks so yummy. It looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, well, we've demolished it. <laughs> what do you rate it, Jack, out of 10? Good nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. What would make it better then? There's more of it. <laughs> <laughs> it was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous good morning everyone it's wednesday um and i'm starting this before i start work because i'm gonna prep my um dinner for tonight my lilies look beautiful which i got for my birthday anyway right so i'm gonna make this um parma ham i'll put you down parma ham wrapped pork no pork wrapped par parma ham wrapped pork wrapped in palm ham stuffed with garlic and spinach. So the recipe is very, very straightforward. Um, I'm just going to start by tossing <laughs> some spinach and garlic in a pan, um, which is really, really simple. I'm not going to crush my garlic today. I'm just going to um, chop it really finely because garlic crushes the crap at times but anyway 
So I'm just gonna chop garlic as you do. This recipe is an SP recipe, but um, that's if you don't put uh, potatoes with it. But I think we will put some form of potatoes with it. We'll just see what happens. I'm not going to cut them too small because there's no point really. So quite a big chunk of garlic. I'm just going to spray the pan. So we're just going to melt, melt down the, um, as I said, melt down the spinach and the garlic together. So it's over 120 grams, I'll just put hand fall in. Yeah. Open up a new bag. Just love spinach. And I'm gonna throw in the garlic with it. And I am gonna add just some granulated garlic as well because it does say two big cloves. I put one one big, one small, and I just find that granulate for me doesn't irritate my stomach as much. So we've got that. Okay, now on to the pork, whilst well, that's one thing. So for the pork, so you need a pork fillet, lean pork fillet, and parma ham ideally, but we've got this seren sereno ham. So this is half a sin per two. So that's really, really low in sin. Um, and you will need some cling film. So you just want to lay that on the board and then put your ham on and then you're going to roll. I just did that the completely wrong way, didn't I, that I said about wash hands. Just stir the spinach. Um, yeah, I will serve this. I'll get, so when it comes to serving, or comes to um, put them in the oven, you put it in like a baking dish with um, tomatoes and, and tender stem broccoli. And then I will probably do some form of like roasts or um, roasts or chips or something, wedges maybe. I'm gonna throw a bit more spinach in. I'd rather have more than less <laughs> of the goodness. Right, so that's five slices there, and that's all I'm gonna do, because otherwise, hang on, let me just have a look at the length of the, yeah, yeah. And then I believe you just have to cut into it. So it's not completely cut through. Okay, spinach is wilted. I'm just gonna put that in. Stuffing is in like that. And then I'm just gonna put some where my assistant moves. With his munchy bars. <laughs> um, <coughs> salt and pepper. Okay, 
Okay, Riley. And then we roll. Like it's a sausage. I just want to get it as tight as possible. And then that's going to go in the fridge. So I'm going to let it cool down a minute because of the spinach. So I'm going to leave that for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna bung it in the fridge for around eight hours, I guess. It does say on the website you can do three hours, but ideally more is needed. So yeah, really, really easy um, pork dish that is. I'll come back to you when we're doing the um, tomatoes and the everything else. Okay, so I'm going to do potatoes now. So I'm just going to do um, mini roasts again, which I did on Monday, just because these appear to like be mine and Jack's favourite thing. So I'm just going to peel, chop up small and burn it in the saucepan. So I won't show you me just peeling because there's no point. I'll get back to you when I'm about to put it all in the oven. Okay, so um, I've got this dish that I love. It's what I use to do all my like tray bakes and all sorts. So I'm gonna put on the bottom the cherry tomatoes and the broccoli. I'm also gonna add some mushrooms in for Jack because he doesn't eat tomatoes. So what's the point of doing this if he doesn't eat all the mush? So I'm just gonna take however many tomatoes I feel I would eat. I'm a bit funny with tomatoes. I like, like the smallest ones. Anyone else the same? But it's going to be roasting for half hour, so the big ones will go. Let's do six. Yeah, six would be enough for me. Just give those a little wash. Bring those in. Obviously, if you were doing this for like four or five people, it will look a lot more in the tray. <laughs> so you do it for two people. I'm not going to cook ridiculous food for no reason. So, and then I'm just going to take some tender skin broccoli out. We love tender stem broccoli. So we will do quite a lot of it, I guess. Um, yeah, one more. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's do that wash. The potatoes are just on, ready to boil. Um, I'm waiting for them to boil. I'm gonna cook them in a separate pan just so they don't mess up the dish. So. I'm going to lay this all down. It says to put the pork in the middle, so I'm just going to make room for the pork. So the pork looks yum. So not looks yum because I can't eat it at the moment. But. Um, you need to put it in the tray of, with the sliced bit down. So. So this bit will be down because this is the bit that's open. And I'm just gonna lie that in the middle of the dish. And then I'm just going, wash my hand. And I'm gonna put some fry light all over. I'll use spray light, but it's the same. So all over. I'm just gonna add some salt onto the veggies, not onto the meat, because we've already done that. And some pepper, wherever our pepper is. Out there. And then just some pepper. Gorgeous. So, looks like this. I, actually, I'll show you what it looks like. So, this is what the dish looks like. Um, 
move that that way so it's got a bit of something um i'm going to cook that for 30 minutes it says on the recipe but i'm going to put it in once the potatoes are in so they're going to take uh probably another 10 minutes so i'm going to leave this on the side for 10 minutes and then bung everything in the oven at the same time for half hour and then i'll show you when it's all done so really really simple dish to do um obviously you can do that with boiled potatoes skin on potatoes wedges fries uh, mash if you want sweet potato anything anything you can have don't even need to have potatoes with it you could just have a big massive veggie feast i might do some form of like a gravy or a dew because i feel like that could be quite dry so i might put something together if i do it would just be like a chicken oxo cube or something but we'll figure that out in a minute um yeah so i'll come back to you once everything's finished or if i make the dew you'll see that here is the pork obviously if you were feeding four people you would have a lot more veggies going on um and then that's the tomato uh, that's the potatoes so i'm just waiting for the plates to warm up and i'm going to serve that up chop it up into slices on a chopping board and there's our washing machine and here is the pork it looks delicious um, I've also just done some beef gravy to go with it. So we will sin that. I know beef and pork don't really go, but the chicken gravy didn't go to plan. <laughs> So that is the end of my video. Yes, I've got my glasses on because I'm about to start work. Um, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll put all the sins down below and the recipes I followed. Um, last night's pork was absolutely gorgeous, but I am glad I added like a beef gravy to it. Ideally, I would have liked chicken gravy, but I tried to make chicken gravy and it didn't go to plan. So I just got rid of it and um, just used beef. So I've sinned for that. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Um, all three meals were delicious and all Slim World friendly. I hope you enjoyed them and I hope if you do make them, um, comment below if you make them and also follow me on my Instagram. I'll put it here and um, send me a message if you made them because I'm really intrigued of who follows these recipes and who actually makes them. And if you, you know, found me on Instagram or found me on YouTube, whatever, um, it's just great to know where you come from. So yeah please subscribe to this channel it means the world give it a thumbs up and ring the bell to be notified on my next upload which will be the audi haul as you all love so so much so yeah see you all soon guys bye